How to be strong. Being strong is not just about being physically strong. When faced with difficult circumstances, some people falter and spiral towards self-destruction while others survive and even thrive once the storm has passed. No one is completely immune to adversity, but some people seem to be better able to cope with and recover from even the most strenuous conditions. To develop your own mental, physical, or spiritual strength, follow these suggestions. Being mentally strong. Remember that you are in control. Strength implies having power and being able to change your own life, while weakness implies being powerless and helpless. Whatever your circumstances, there are things you can control, and things you can't. The key is to focus on the things you can control. Make a list of what is troubling you, then make a list of what you can do to make each situation better. Accept the items on the first list they are what they are, and focus your energy on the second list. In studies of people with a high adversity quotient AQ, it's observed that resilient people not only always find some aspect of a situation that they can control, but also feel responsible for taking action to fix the situation, even if their hardship was caused by someone else. Those with a low AQ, however, ignore opportunities to take action and deflect accountability, presuming that because they didn't create the situation, they should not be the ones to fix it. One. Choose your attitude. Sometimes, we encounter situations in which we really are helpless to enact change. Even though these times are trying, you can still be in control because no matter what, you can always control your attitude towards life. As Viktor Frankl put it, we who lived in concentration camps can remember the men who walked through the huts comforting others, giving away their last piece of bread. They may have been few in number, but they offer sufficient proof that everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way, regardless of what is happening, be positive. If somebody is making your life miserable, don't let them crush your spirit. Continue to be proud, have hope, and remember that attitude is something that no one can take away from you. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent, as Eleanor Roosevelt said. Try not to let a crisis or hardship in one area of your life spill over into other areas of your life. If you're facing great difficulty with work, for instance, don't behave irritably towards your significant other when they've done nothing but try to help. Eliminate the side effects of your hardship by controlling your own attitude. Resilient people do not turn every setback into a catastrophe, nor do they let negative events follow a domino effect through their lives. If somebody is making your life miserable, don't let them crush your spirit. Continue to be proud, have hope, and remember that attitude is something that no one can take away from you. No one can make you feel inferior without your consent, as Eleanor Roosevelt said. Try not to let a crisis or hardship in one area of your life spill over into other areas of your life. If you're facing great difficulty with work, for instance, don't behave irritably towards your significant other when they've done nothing but try to help. Eliminate the side effects of your hardship by controlling your own attitude. Resilient people do not turn every setback into a catastrophe, nor do they let negative events follow a domino effect through their lives. One, If it helps, remember and recite the serenity prayer, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Rediscover your zest for life. Emotionally strong people view each and every day as a gift. They try to structure them so that the gift is taken advantage of fully. Remember when you were a child and could get excited by the simplest wonders of life, playing with leaves in the fall, drawing a make-believe animal, eating a s'more? Find that inner child. Be that inner child. Your ability to be mentally and emotionally strong depends on it. Have faith in yourself. You've made it this far. You can make it through just one more day. And if you take it just one day at a time, or even one moment at a time, you can survive whatever you're going through. It won't be easy, and you're not invincible, so take baby steps. When you feel like you're about to fall apart, close your eyes and take a deep breath. Remember these things in your quest, don't listen to the naysayers. There will always be people who doubt you, for whatever reason. Your job is to not listen to them and, ultimately, to prove them wrong. Don't let them take hope away from you just because they've lost theirs. The world is practically begging you to transform it. What are you waiting for? Think about the times that you succeeded. Use them as motivation in your journey. Whether it's that classroom assignment you aced, that person you talked to, or the birth of your child, let it feed your desire to be a stronger, more adjusted person. Like begets like. Try, try, and try again. There will come a time when you doubt yourself because you tried and failed. But failure is part of success, and everyone fails sometimes. Look up famous people who have failed multiple times before accomplishing their goals to help you get inspired. Don't listen to the naysayers. There will always be people who doubt you, for whatever reason. Your job is to not listen to them and, ultimately, to prove them wrong. Don't let them take hope away from you just because they've lost theirs. The world is practically begging you to transform it. What are you waiting for? Think about the times that you succeeded. Use them as motivation in your journey. Whether it's that classroom assignment you aced, that person you talked to, or the birth of your child, let it feed your desire to be a stronger, more adjusted person. Like begets like. Try, try, and try again. There will come a time when you doubt yourself because you tried and failed. But failure is part of success, and everyone fails sometimes. 
Look up famous people who have failed multiple times before accomplishing their goals to help you get inspired. Pick your battles wisely. Does every little thing that exasperates you a colleague asking a question, a driver cutting you off, need to? Ask yourself why and whether these things matter. Try whittling your life down to a few core values that mean the world to you, and don't worry about anything else. As Sylvia Robinson once said, some people think it's holding on that makes one strong, sometimes it's letting go. Reach out to the people who mean the most to you. Spend time with friends and family, along with others who are supportive and positive. If no one is available, make new friends. And if there are no friends to be found, help others who are in greater need than you are. Sometimes when we feel like we can't better our own situations, we can find strength in bettering someone else's, and we can also gain perspective on our own lives. There's no doubting it, humans are very social animals. Studies and science both point to social well-being as an important factor in emotional and physical health. If you feel like you're struggling socially, it's worth trying to get some help. Here's a start, have a great conversation with someone get over mistakes, don't let them define you. Recover after a breakup overcome shyness act like an extrovert. Have a great conversation with someone. Get over mistakes, don't let them define you. Recover after a breakup. Overcome shyness. Act like an extrovert. Strike a balance between work and play, rest and activity. Sounds easy enough, doesn't it? It's sorely overlooked precisely because it's deceptively hard. Either we work too hard and are constantly moving around, or we slack off more than we should and lounge like hippos, idle, on the banks of opportunity. Getting a good balance between work and play, rest and activity, will allow you to appreciate each mode for what it's worth. The grass won't seem greener on the other side because you won't be boxed in just one pasture. Be thankful for what you have. Life is tough, but if you look closely enough, you'll find an infinite number of things to be grateful for in spite of the struggles of existence. Even if the things and people that made you happy in the past are gone, there's so much more to appreciate still. The joy you derive from the world around you is the fuel that'll push you through the hardest of times, so pay attention to what you have and enjoy it for what it's worth. Sure, you might not have that new shirt, or whatever it is you want, but at least you have this computer, with the internet, equipped with the ability to read. At least you have this article to help you out. Some people can't read, have no computer, and are homeless. They wish they had what you did. Try downloading a gratitude app for your smartphone. This will remind you to write about what you are grateful for every day and help you to develop an attitude of gratitude. Don't take things so seriously. Charlie Chaplin knew something about comedy. He famously said, Life is a tragedy when seen in close-up, but a comedy in long shot, it's all too easy to get wrapped up in our own small tragedies that cause us to act and react on a micro level. But take a step back and look at life more philosophically, more mischievously, more romantically. The wonder, the limitless possibilities, the absurdity of it all, it's enough to make you laugh at how strangely lucky you are. Because, let's face it, life is just more fun when it isn't taken too seriously. And while making fun and being happy certainly isn't all life has to offer, it's an important part, right? Remember that nothing is permanent. If you're in the middle of a period of grief or pain that you can't control, stand aside and let the moment happen. If you are going through a prolonged period of difficulty, remind yourself that this, too, shall pass. Accept the good and the bad moments in your life for what they are and don't get too attached to either state. Learn to let go when things get bad, and appreciate life when it is good. This will help to keep you grounded when life gets difficult. 